Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press and I have with me today Russ Resnick. He is the Worldwide Segment Manager for One and Two Socket Rack Servers. How are you doing Russ? Great, thanks for having me today. So today we're going to be talking about the new Think System SR550. This is our value line of servers. This is the Two Socket 2U Rack Server. Correct. Right, Russ? Mm -hmm. So now Russ, we have also the SR650. This is another 2U server. How does the SR550 and the SR650 compare? So David, this server is really for customers who really want an entry, no frills, two socket server supporting the Intel Xeon scalable family of processors. Okay, so th the, this system has fewer of the components. Um, it's only uh, 12 DIMM sockets, Correct. rather than 24. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the functions like the full light path diagnostic in the, in the SR650, it, it, this, this just has the basic um, uh, light path, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so other functions like that are, are removed this to lower the, the entry cost of the system. Right? right. And for customers who don't feel they need all the functionality that would be in the SR650. So having said that then, what, is the, what are the suitable applications for this system? So this, these, these systems are great for just compute farms, for email, file, print servers, and web serving is another great application for these. All right, very good. So let's um, let's go through the through the server. Let's um, do it. We'll, we'll, we'll start at the front. Um, now, what we have on this system is the optional security bezel, right, Ross? Correct. Um, this will uh, you can you can lock this, and it will um, prevent access to the front drives. Right. right? Yep. Yeah. And that's the, that's the main purpose yep. is uh, keeping people from so removing the drives. Right. Um, and you said before that this is the um, the same. It's the same option that's on the SR650. Right, okay. So customers can, if they have both kinds of servers, they get the same option to, uh, for the security bezel. Yeah, okay. All right. So um, this server, uh, as, uh, as we configured here, is, is a, the 2.5-inch drive model. Right, and, and so we the, support 8 and 16 2.5-inch drives in right. the server. Right, yep. So uh, the SR550 supports 16 2.5 or... Um, Eight or twelve, three and a half. Right. Mm -hmm. um, those are all hot swap variants. Yes. And the server, you can also configure it um, for simple swap. If you're mm -hmm. looking for low cost storage options, there's also the simple swap three and a half inch drives are an available configuration as well. Right? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, also on the front, on my side, um, this uh, front VGA port um, available if you if you wish to use that. If you're in a data center that that you use a crash cart to to monitor systems um, from the front of the front of the server. Um, you can you, that, that VGA port there is available. Um, Russ, on your side, the connectors. Yeah, we have uh, two USB ports and, of course, the uh, power buttons and the ID buttons. Uh, this uh, port here with the wrench allows you to plug in a tablet or smartphone using the USB port uh, on the phone to use the XClarity mobile app, which has now been updated to talk to the XClarity controller that's on the motherboard of this server and all the other Think System servers. So that's uh, for, like, if you're doing, you're, you're in, again, in front of the server in, mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, uh, in your data center, and you want to do local management of the system to, to diagnose problems or to see uh, status and whatnot. Right, so it replaces the LCD panel that had been on previous servers. Right, okay. Uh, and it turns the phone or tablet into a uh, virtual LCD panel. Mm -hmm. Very good, yeah, okay. So um, that's the front of the system. Um, let's uh, rotate this around and have a look at the back, shall we? So, um, let's see. Who, so, um, on, on, on my side here, we have um, a variety of uh, RJ45 connections. Um, this, this slot right here, this is our LOM, our LAN on motherboard slot. Um, and there are three um, different variations here for e Ethernet connections. Correct. Um, and that's in addition to the standard two uh, one gig Ethernet ports that are on the server. Now the LOM adapter can be the three variations. So there's the one gig, mm -hmm. um, ten gig SFP plus, and ten gig RJ45 the copper connection. Mm -hmm. So three variations there to give you a total of four ports uh, of of networking. Plus the X Clarity controller port. Plus yes, the fifth connection there in the mm -hmm. middle. Mm -hmm. That's the one for uh, dedicated systems management mm -hmm. to connect you through to the X Clarity controller, which is our service processor on this system. In fact, all the Think server, all the Think system Think servers system, yes. um, use the XClarity controller, controller common uh, across the yeah. entire family. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good. Um, next to that is the rear VGA port. Um, when you have the front 
um, VGA port as well. You can only use one or, or the other at a time. You can't use them both simultaneously. Mm -hmm. But the, the, this one is a standard feature. Um, now, there are a total of six uh, regular PCIe slots in addition to the LOM slot. And those can take uh, a mixture of, of PCIe adapters by 8 or by 16, um, full width, full, full height, um, or the low profile, depending on the slot configuration you've selected. Um, some of the riser slots, uh, riser configurations we offer include access to a, an ML2 slot, which has a low cost slot option for, for network cards. For additional LAN ports. Right. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, have one uh, vertically mounted uh, low profile adapter slot uh, there, and then two more over here f um, um, on, uh, on, the, on the side there in another riser slot. Um, some of, some of these adapter slots are only available when you have the second processor installed. I think that's correct. This top slot on this side, I believe, is uh, the one that's mm -hmm. only accessible when you have two processors installed. The others are available whether you have one or two processors mm -hmm. installed. And then, Russ, we have two, two power supplies here. Um, what are the options there? We have 550-watt uh, and 750-watt supplies. Yeah. Those are platinum. Or um, titanium. Or the, the 750 is, is titanium, titanium, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then in between those um, is, the, uh, is two... Um, USB 3 connections just there, and there is a pinhole for um, the NMI button mm -hmm. to reset the system if, if, you, mm -hmm. if you need that. All right, so those are all the functions up front. Let's, um, let's open up and, and have a look inside, shall we? Um, so this is the uh, air baffle, remove that. Okay. So this system is based on the Intel Xeon Scalable Family, family of, of Processors, processors yes. Mm -hmm. um, supports processors up to 125 watts. That's correct. Yep. And we, you can see here that um, each processor supports six DIMMs. That's uh, right. Yep, for a total of 12 DIMMs in the, process, in, the, in the system. So, for example, if we're using the 64 gig LR DIMMs that are available for the system, that's a total of 768 gigabytes of, of memory. So, pretty substantial memory footprint if you needed it. That's right. Yep. Um, uh, the, the, in, this, in this particular system, um, the fans are available here. They are the simple swap. The blue color indicates that these are simple swap. Low, lower cost again. Uh, this is a pre-production system. There is actually one fan missing here. When, uh, in, in the production system, when there is one processor installed, there are three fans standard. When you have two processors installed, there will be four fans installed. And these are, as I said, these are, these are simple swap fans, meaning that you would power off the system um, and then remove the fans if you need to service them. They are redundant fans, um, N plus one, so that they can, the system can tolerate um, a fan failure in most configurations. All right, um, let's go to, towards the back of the system then. Um, the riser slots, let me, um, let me pull this one out. The, the two risers have... have uh, are, um, present the, to, to the, the available I.O. slots. Um, this particular uh, riser on this side of the server uh, supports two slots, and the riser on this side supports two or three, um, depending on which configuration you've picked. Now, these support, um, this, this riser here supports the double-wide slots, uh, adapters as well, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yep, so mm -hmm. you can choose, choose that if you, if, you, if you need to put, a, put an adapter in like that. Um, now, in addition to to that, the next to the slot, the, the riser slot too, is this adapter here. This is the ML2. No, this is the M.2. Sorry, M.2, I should uh, say. M.2. Uh, adapter for yes. boot drives. So tell us what that's all about, Russ. So this is a uh, single M.2 adapter. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can install an M.2 uh, flash drive in there for the system to boot from. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition to the single, which we have installed here, um, the server also supports this dual ad adapter, and it's named that because there are, in fact, t you can put two M.2 um, cards on this system. All right, and then you card. get a hardware mirror. Right, this is actually has a RAID chip embedded in the adapter, mm -hmm. so it provides comprehensive um, uh, redundancy solution there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I would also point out that um, if you need a serial port, then the server supports this uh, serial port um, adapter. Ca adapter, yep. It goes into, into this slot here, slot four, um, where the RAID card currently is. Um, 
and that gives you access to that if, if you need it. Right. Yeah. And if you were to plug it in, you just move the RAID card to another slot. Yes, indeed. Yes. This is the, this is the um, RAID 530 8i adapter. This is our low function, low, uh, oh, sorry, low cost mm -hmm. RAID adapter without cache. Um, other available um, RAID cards include the 930 series, mm -hmm. um, which include um, cache. Um, uh, and a SuperCap backup. Yes. The SuperCap is this device here, which is, um, uh, enables the, the cache to be, to be powered even when the system is off so that cache can be, can be stored. Mm -hmm. And, that, and that, the, the battery pack, this pack here, this flash pack, is mounted in the, um, the uh, air baffle on the top here. You can see it supports up to, up to four um, of these flash SuperCap packs. packs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so um, on that side, Russ, there's the LOM card. Yes? Yeah, here we have the uh, two-port LOM card. As you see, this is, a, uh, this is something that can be changed out or uh, put installed in the field to give you, as we talked earlier, about two ports of one gig or 10 gig along with the two ports that are on the motherboard. Yeah. Oh, and I would point out, too, that in addition to supporting the RAID cards, the server does also support onboard SATA connections as well. So if you're looking again for the low-cost... Um, storage Sa like the, the simple, simple swap, swap yep. SATA. Yep, then part. you can mm -hmm. route the simple swap drives at the front through to SATA ports um, and not need a RAID card, so that's an option for you as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think that's pretty much all, all there is in this system. Mm -hmm. uh, Russ, if you're looking for more information, where would people go? Please uh, go to lenovopress.com where you can find product guides on this and all the other Think System servers. Yep, so there you have it. So this is the SR550, our new Think System server. Russ, thanks very much for your time. Thanks for having me. Hope you found the video useful. And we'll see you later.